It's your happy hour and a half. Twin Cities Live. Oh, welcome to the show, everybody. And we made it. Ah. We did it. We did it. We made the Friday. It's Friday. Woo! Feels like a Friday. It does does it feel like a Friday? Yeah, I like Even it. Even with our little weekend during the weekday thing I know, that, that happened was on Tuesday, Wednesday? Unsettling to me because of baseball. I don't know. It just feels cozy like we're gearing up for the weekend and um I'm looking forward to it. But we're going to have fun over the next yes, hour are. and a half. Okay, uh, whether you're turn, tuning in from War Road, Wyzetta, or Wabasha, all Minnesota mm -hmm. cities that start with the letter W, mm -hmm. uh, we're happy that you're here. And a special love to our new friends tuning in from ABC6. If you're watching us on ABC6, yes, we're so pumped. You guys are in Rochester, and we're happy about it. Yeah, thanks so much. All over the state, even Canada, uh, we want to say hello, a happy Friday. I hope you guys have awesome weekend plans. Yep. And boy, does it feel like fall. I know. Things Would have really at turned. That? Chris Reese, our meteorologist, um, he posted a screenshot of, you know, like the seven-day deal that they mm -hmm. uh, put together. And it was 90 on Sunday and then 50 or 55 for Saturday. And that is Minnesota it's in perfect. a nutshell. You just never know what you're going to get. Yeah, so that's the Coliseum at the State Fairgrounds, which I was at earlier today Look already. Look at you. What were you doing? Oh, Miss Ames has an equestrian competition right now. She um, started yesterday, and um, humble brag, very proud dad. She she took first place in a no. couple of events. Yes. Oh, my god. She did. She did. Um, she got fourth place this morning in a jumper event, and then she has got a big, big event tonight. <gasps> Oh, after so after the show, I'm going to head over there to the Coliseum to the uh, to the big derby. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. very cool. How many com um, competitors are there? Like this is a huge thing, right? It's a big it's a big thing. Tonight's going to be a bigger event. I'm not sure. Maybe a couple thousand. Really? I'm kidding. I don't know. I, I don't know. Probably 20 riders. Mm. I don't know. We we will see. Anyway, I will be there um, once again tonight. Oh, good. Feel good when you get to the state fairgrounds. It's kind of fun to go there, isn't it? It is kind of weird because you you know you see all the things like there's the big the big fry shop is I know. right there. And, you're and like, I'm like, oh, I just kind of wish that was open. Right now. <laughs> Wouldn't like, that you be know, nice? Hot fries on a day like today where it's kind of cool and it's like spitty rain this morning. I'm like, some hot fries. There it is. That would be great. There Ooh. it is. Look at the zoom on that. Fresh thing. French fries. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, my, my mouth was watering. I get it. Uh, also, today, you guys, it is Friday. We've been talking about it. It is free for all Friday. Yep. So jump on our Facebook right now. Ask us some questions. Kelly's standing by. Mm -hmm. She's going to answer all the questions that you guys ask. We'll get to those. Uh, Derek Huff is going to join us today. We're really excited about that. He's, of course, uh, Dancing with the Stars pro and now a judge on the show. He is going to be in Minneapolis later on this month. He's headlining a show in downtown Minneapolis, and we're going to be giving away a VIP package to one of you. It's worth nearly $600, but technically priceless because it includes two tickets to meet Derek, and you can't put a price on that. No, you can't put a price on that. No way. And then we're also giving away tickets to a new game show experience inside Rosedale Center. They just had the ribbon cutting ceremony for this spot this morning, and our staff... Got a sneak peek earlier this week. I can't wait to see this because it sounds like they had so much fun. They played a knockoff version of Wheel of Fortune. There was also an impromptu dance-off, and we hear it went off the rails. And I am not surprised at all by that. We're going to find out what happened. No, not at all. And I've been hearing from all the, all the people that went uh, around the station that um, I think it's a little, like, uh, maybe a little inappropriate at times. <laughs> You know, as expected of with course. our crew, of you know, course. so it's going to be a lot of fun. So stick around to watch that. But first, let's take a few minutes to answer your questions. You guys, it is free for all Friday. Roll it, everybody. You can ask us a question right now on the Twin Cities Live Facebook page. And as Ben mentioned, there she is just doing her little mom groove thing. Kelly Hansen standing by okay. in our free for all headquarters, which is actually just a tiny corner. Just a few steps away from us. Hi, right gals. There. Hi, guys. Uh, you know what people are doing? They're watching Twin Cities Live because I have got a lot of questions to great, get to. Great, great. I know, this is so fun. Okay, uh, let's start with, Don wants to know, mm -hmm. did you turn your heat on this morning? Burr. No. 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 I think My house was actually to. kind of warm. Oh. I think it was like all of the things mm. we have running. It felt warm. I don't know. And I and I actually felt the radiators. We have radiator heat at the Rappers household. Radiator you know, heat. it's yeah. no, it's old school at our house. Um, and 
No, did not turn it on, and I will hold off for as long as possible to turn on the heat. I think it's like a point of pride that I have to feel like my nose is cold in the house before I turn on the heat. Yeah, same. So that so I woke up this morning and I was actually kind of kind of chilly, but I want it that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the summertime when it's hot, I want it to feel chilly, so I really crank down the air. Um, so last night's temperature, this morning's temperature, I thought it was perfect. Oh, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's it was great. great. Yep. Okay. Good okay. question. Tom. All right. Let's go with. Um, I hope Elizabeth, you're ready to answer this. Oh okay. gosh. Tough Jackie one. wants to know, how are your chickens doing? Oh man. Oh boy. That's a great question. I had a rough one this week, though. I lost <laughs> one. I lost one to a hawk this week. I'm not kidding. You know, guys, here's the thing. Life on the farm <laughs> is not easy, and there are always predators who are looking to get your chickens. And I was really sad about this because it was my favorite chicken. Mm -hmm. And her name was Alice, and she was a buff-laced Polish. She had a white plume of feathers on her head. She's the most expensive chicken I've ever purchased. So that <laughs> was a real kick in the craw, if you will, too. And I, I on Tuesday... I let them out like I normally do because I let them out and about. And mm -hmm. I know it's risky, but I want them to be able to like yeah, live their free. life and yeah. have fun and be free. I went upstairs to grab my laptop because I was going to sit outside and work with them out there. And um, I got outside and there was a hawk in the yard, like a giant hawk. And so I go running out like a crazy person, mm -hmm. you know, I, it was and yelled at the hawk and it was too late. Um, and now I have ordered, I think, four fake owls to perch all over my mm -hmm. yard to try to scare these hawks away. So thanks for play, asking, Did Kelly. you play taps well, or anything? I mean... No, it was sad. It was really sad. And now, I will say, we've lost quite a few chickens. Like, when you have chickens, yeah. you lose them. You try to give them the best life that they can. And, you, and this is the risk. If you let them free range in your yard, there's a risk that something could get them. Mm -hmm. And the hawk has to eat, too. This is what we talked about with the kids. It's actually yep. like a really great life. lesson for your kids. Circle of life. And I'm going to guess that the plume of hair on the top is like a beacon for those hawks. No, like they, a lightning rod. I, it's totally true. I didn't even think about yeah, that. It's just, it's just like teasing them. Yes. Like, Hello. I know. I'm here. But the other ones are all fine. They're in good spirits. I just cleaned out the coop today. Thank you for asking. And the kids took it well? The kids were okay. They did hold a funeral for her this mm. week. Oh. And the neighbor kids. But the neighbors have chickens, oh too, so everybody gets it. Everybody. Now, is said chicken buried? No, said chicken was disposed of. We'll okay. just leave it at okay. that. Thanks. Okay, let's But it on. is fascinating when you see inside a chicken's body, it's chicken. <laughs> Guys. Wow, newsflash. I mean, I'm just going to tell you city slickers out there. It's that's legit right. chicken. And you're it's like, oh, chicken. So it, that's a real authentic chicken. Yes. So okay. this is why I'm saying, like, you have to, if, if you're going to have backyard chickens, which I've had backyard chickens for a dozen years. I mean, I'm old hat at this. It's, you have to really have a little bit of perspective that like you probably have chicken in your freezer too. Okay, so disposed of or processed? Yeah. Not processed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what kind of parasites that hawk is carrying. Are you kidding me? Well, just, just cook it to at least 160 and you're good. <laughs> it would be fine organically raised never. meat. That's true. That's okay. true. Okay. Karen uh, and wants for the to record, know. my chickens are fine. <laughs> okay. I'm glad to hear that, Ben. Uh, Karen wants to know, what's your greatest fear? Oh, wow. I gave you a real hard one there, guys. Yeah. yeah my, I, I mean, have an answer. I have said this before. Like, I could always go really, really dark, and it involves yeah, it anything traumatizing with my children. It's just, it just is. That's like, uh, you know, uh, what do you want me to go down? Abduction, diagnoses, <laughs> like all these I know. things. <laughs> Basically, like, every news story that you see involving kids. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's like my biggest fear. I know. I know. Right. I mean, you, guys wanna, you guys want to hear mine? What yes. is it? It's whales. What is your whales? problem? Whales. Why? Like so you don't want to get swallowed by a whale? I do not want to get swallowed by a whale. Jonah style? I apparently, this is an actual thing that people have. It's called something, a fear of whales. It whale has a phobia. Term. Yeah, everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. And Khloe Kardashian has it. Now, you can't even talk about whales in front of her. You can talk about a whale in front of me. I just don't want to be in a small boat where there is a mm. whale. But you have lots of other fears, too. You're afraid of balloons popping. <laughs> You are also afraid of um, poultry products. You're just like outing all the things I, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'm just Chicken saying. has to be, I would never have eaten your chicken. No. Never. E even really. Thanksgiving turkey, she's afraid Not, of that. I don't so like where on, that. So where on your list of phobias is whales? It's pretty high. Like, pretty high. Like, and people will send me whale videos now. I know it's going to happen. Listen, if you do it too many times, I'm going to block you. But people send me whale, people that know me send me whale videos, like big scary whales. That just shows the vast 
the vast greatness of the ocean and it makes me nervous. Yeah. Oh, okay. So speaking of, I would say one of my biggest fears is being just stranded in the middle of the ocean. That's scary. Yeah, That's ocean. scary. The ocean scary. Oceans are for looking and not for touching. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. You, you don't imagine? like whales either then, Elizabeth. No. Right? Yeah, see? Although... I mean, I like a, I'm not afraid of a whale, but I don't really like going in... Last time I was in the ocean was in the Bahamas. I was with Abby. Yeah. And I was like, oceans are for looking and not for touching. And she was very <laughs> impressed when I did, in fact, get in to the ocean. I don't like getting in. I just have to be <laughs> around a boat and see land. But if I'm in the middle of the ocean, no. When have you found yourself in that situation? Well, I'm just saying, even if, well, yeah. I have never really have, I guess. I, it's just when I see videos of people going out deep sea fishing, I'm like, I want no part of that. Oh, I, I want to be about 150 yards yeah. off the coast. Jay and just did it. that and he didn't even like it. No, I don't want to do yeah. that. <laughs> Although I was going to say, you know what would be really fun if you could do it safely is being ejected through the blowhole of a whale. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> We've that taken a times. turn, everyone. Takes a turn. I, okay. I've just been told our live stream, you cannot see us on Facebook, but you can hear us. So that's just, fine. Then you that's can, okay. But you, so can, just, you should see us on the TV. That's right. Very yeah. good. Very good. Okay. So um, this is for Ben. Mm -hmm. Robert wants to know, for Ben mm -hmm. slash, will Taylor Swifty be at the game this weekend? Taylor Swift. Ben, are you in the know about if Taylor is going to be in town this weekend? I am not in the know. <laughs> and if I had my druthers... I would say, please stay away. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I don't think she's coming. Really? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm Swifty Kelsey'd out. Okay. Yeah. It's too much. It's too much. Mm -hmm. NFL, you've gone, we've gone way overboard. And again, I'm not blaming Taylor at no. all. It's the coverage from NBC and CBS and all the networks that have have had her on the last two weeks. And the NFL, they are really leaning into this way too much. They're milking it. Yeah, they, they are totally are. It. But they're excited about the new eyeballs. I don't know. I, it'd be fun if she showed up. I bet she likes her time at U.S. Bank Stadium. She was great when she was here the last she time. She was great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, how about this one? Gina wants to know, long-distance relationships, do you think they can ever work? <gasps> I did one. It didn't work. Yeah. I mean, technically, yes. I think we all know people that do make it work. And Do you yeah. know anybody? I know. I know some people that made it work. Do you know my parents lived long distance for six years at well after they were married? My dad took a job in St. Louis, and my mom stayed here, and then they traveled back and forth to see each other. See, it worked. It Well, they'd also been married for like 20 years prior. Okay, well, that's a big difference. If, so... you're, if you're dating... If you're dating and you have a long-distance relationship, especially if you're a youngin', mm. if you're just a high school sweetheart and one's going to college here and the other one's going to college here, just break up. I don't think that's going to work. Right, I know. I don't that's think hard. so either. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think so either. And then you're going to have all this angst and you're going to, like, miss out on all the fun that you could have. Long distance is, I think sometimes maybe, like, if, if you're married, it probably has some benefits because then it's like that person isn't always around to mess stuff up. <laughs> go, go on. <laughs> Keep talking. Keep talking. You know who you're I'm talking about. Don't yourself. <laughs> I have another one here, guys. Okay, all right. And I like it. Kevin wants to know, do you read your own email or does someone else? Oh, I wish I didn't read it, but I do. Oh, my do. gosh. I wish I had somebody that could read my emails. I know. I read my own email. So think about that the next time you email me. <laughs> I read my own emails, and I know this is a bad trait of mine, but I am terrible at correspondence. It's, it, this is the problem. I read them, but I have to bypass things. Like, I have to really be strategic because there's certain things like within the company that I have to respond to. Like if my boss sure. emails me, I have to respond to that. So then I have sort of a, I have to categorize and then there's a lot of things I just can't get back to. Because it's yeah. just not, there's not enough time in the day. If I replied to every single email, I, w I would never, I wouldn't make it here for the show. I wouldn't be it's able to the do the It's the same show. thing, it's the same thing that, that I feel with texting and email. NDMs. Because there, NDMs, because there is there is absolutely a filtered priority that you feel like okay I have to I have to answer that I have to get back to that, yeah. and as you're bouncing back and forth between the text and an email and a DM and whatever, I just I don't want to process all these different like <laughs> thoughts and like you know I don't I don't want to do all that stuff so oh, I no. just I just don't do any of it right so then I reach a point I'm like I'm done. And then it might be a day or two or three weeks or four weeks before I get back to you, so I'm apologizing. Apologize, right I know. Sorry, but sometimes, but we try, right, Kelly? Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. That's it. There are so many other questions. Real quickly, yes. Ben, what's the score for Sunday's game? Ooh. People want to know. What's the score? Uh, well, looking at my crystal ball, I'm going to say Vikings 34 to 28. 
Okay, let's let's it's a weird score. This, yeah, that's that a it. weird. That's a weird score, but I'm going to go with it. Thirty-four to twenty-eight. Stick with it. Okay, that's all. Okay. Guys. Thanks, yeah. Kelly. Bye. Thanks, Kel. We appreciate you coming up next. We're going to tell you how you can win tickets to see Derek Huff's Symphony of Dance tour, and even meet Derek himself. We're going to chat <gasps> with him after the break. Oh my gosh, it's great. Post chat is presented by Pormois Climate Smart Skincare. The proof is in Uli's hands and our faces.